to Daily Sourdough. Do you love fish and chips as much as I do? Well, today we are going to make sourdough fish and chips. It's a great recipe because it's using discard only. So the batter on the fish is using sourdough discard. And you start by taking two cups of your sourdough starter and it can be fed or unfed, it doesn't matter. It can be straight out of the refrigerator, but put two cups into a bowl. This is quite thick today, so that means I'll probably need a little bit extra water, and we are going to use sparkling water sparkling water and some people of course use beer but sparkling water will make the batter foam up a little bit and help create a crispier texture and also create little air pockets under the breading so you have that nice crispy looking breading on your fish so add start by adding a, just a little bit at a time it depends on how thick your starter is. So if your starter is really thin, you're not going to be using very much sparkling water. What you want is texture or consistency like pancake batter. So just continue to add the sparkling water or the beer until you have pancake consistency batter. And then stir that up. Just let that starter dissolve and soften. Make sure that's mixed up well. And if you need to let it sit a moment just to let that starter soften, then go ahead and let that sit and then stir it again. Just keep stirring or letting it rest until it's nice and smooth. Now you can see how nice and smooth that batter is starter softened. Now we are ready to add the seasonings and in a separate bowl mix together two teaspoons of salt, half teaspoon of paprika, half teaspoon of black pepper, and if you want to add garlic or onion salt, you name it, you can put it in. Now mix that together until that's well incorporated. Right here I have white fish and it's the white fish is the tastiest to use in this and I've been soaking it in milk because that kind of tempers the fishy flavor. I'm going to dump the milk out. Now this next step is very important. You need to pat your fish dry and the fish needs to be very dry in order for that batter to stick. So just using a paper towel pat that fish till it's really dry. Now once the fish is prepared, it's nice and dry. We have one last ingredient to add to the batter, but first we need to make sure our oil is hot. And in this pot here I have the oil heating up, so I'm going to deep fry this fish. You could try it in your air fryer or you can pan fry it, but deep frying gives you that really nice crisp texture. So make sure your oil is really hot before you add the last ingredient, which is a teaspoon of baking powder. And you can see that adding the baking powder kind of helps it foam up a little bit. And it's gonna make it easier to dip my fish into the batter and make a nice crispy crust. So let's get frying. Now dip your fish in the batter, make sure it's fully coated. You can see that, that the starter really sticks to it. It's gonna be great. Then very carefully slide this into your hot oil. Be careful. Ooh, hot. And you can see it just puffs up and cooks very fast. So you have to wash it carefully. 
And it won't take long for that fish to cook inside. So just cook it until you like it looks of the outside. And make sure you have a pan with a wire rack ready with some paper towel or newspaper underneath so that the fish can drain on it. That keeps it really nice and crispy. And if you have a little extra batter, what I like to do is make onion rings with it. So while the fish is draining, this is a good time to throw the onion rings in the fryer. And that's all there is to it. You have delicious fish and chips, fish and onion rings with your sourdough starter. It's so fun. What a fun way to use your starter. And I can't wait to dig in, so I'm just gonna do it. So let's try it. See how crispy and flaky that is? Oh man, amazing. Look at that. Flaky fish, it keeps the fish moist inside because you have that nice thick batter on the outside. It's so crispy and it's all sourdough starter so you can rest easy knowing you're eating something that's easy to digest. It has firm, it's a fermented food so it has good probiotics and, and it's so good. Let's try it. Oh man, that is so good. You have to try it. And then tell me what you think. You're gonna love it. Mmm, mmm, wow. Really good. Almost as good as my favorite restaurant in the Caribbean. And the onion rings are delicious as well. So friends, Try this recipe and be sure to stay tuned to Daily Sourdough because I have even more recipes coming up on how to use your sourdough on a daily basis. Mm -hmm.